Hey guys, fishing the Topahawk in the today again. Nothing special, no super presentation, just going fishing. So, yeah, I wanted to record it for you guys. Um, I've been seeing a lot of guys zero nymphing in here. It's kind of starting to piss me off, actually. <laughs> they literally stand in the hole, spook fish away, and then get surprised when I walk in with a 20 footer and start catching fish right out in front of them. It's like, come on, guys. Can't you? Put two and two together a little bit, but uh, yeah, uh, just random fishing. We'll see how we do today. All right. Surprised there's nobody here today. It's a really nice day. Walk up to the top of the bend. Start where I actually started last year on the Tulpahawken in the summertime. And as you can see, it is super low. We've been in a drought for about a month now, so. Hasn't been too pretty. It looks nice and clear, and there are some fish rising, but uh, it's not looking too good for cat season this year. I sure hope we get. We're supposed to get some rain this coming week, so you know. yeah, just a shame that it's so low. All right, walk up to the top of the hole and get fishing. Wow. This is usually a hole here, right where these rocks are. Man, oh man, is it low. Wow. Sure hope it didn't ruin the fishing. All right, since it is so low and clear today, I put two half split shots on. It'll just, gives it a little bit different profile than one big split shot, so. Yeah, it is super shallow. Oh yeah, yeah, let's see how we do. Literally, this was up to my, past my waist in the winter time, right where I'm standing. Well, that's bright, a pink one, super bright. That's a fish. Oh, that was a fish. All right, so they are in here. Try to get it above them a little bit. Darn, that was a fish. That was my first couple of casts. Yeah, in regards to urine nymphing, I don't know if you guys can see where that black is. Oops. That's about where the urine nymphers all stand. I get to stand another 10 feet back. That was fish. <laughs> there we go. Woo, jumpy boy. Yep, I literally get to stand 10 feet off from where these guys normally are. It's like, all oh, 11 foot rods. What's the point of having an 11 foot rod in a stream that's 40 feet across? You guys are probably missing tons of fish. Come on. There we are. All right, so that ain't bad for first, what, two minutes? Cool. And he's hooked pretty good, so I gotta unhook him quick. Whoops. <laughs> he decided he wanted to go really fast, so. Flop that in the net before I can unhook him. He was really tangled up too, so. Made sure he was untangled and now he didn't want to waste time recording, so. So long, Gay Bowser, as Mario says. Anyway, that's one. Maybe I should start counting. How many are actually going to be caught today? I 
That's two. <laughs> Jeez, oh man. The slightest little tick and I had him. That was a very nice rise in front of me. I know exactly where you are. He's literally 10 feet out in front of me. Right at the verge of where the black and the tan meet. I'm gonna get you. All right, buddy. There you go. Be gone. All right, big guy. Let's play. That fish was right where the black and tan meet. Oh no, he came out in front of me. You little bugger. Why are you coming out there? He's swimming all over the place in there. Let me guess, he saw me and now doesn't want to hit. <sighs> he looked at, I can actually see him in there. Don't know why he came out so close to me. Oh, I missed him. I rolled. Oh no. <laughs> Darn, I don't think I'm getting him. Picked it up and rolled and let go right away. Oh yeah. Ooh, is that that big brownie? That might be that big one. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think that's the big brownie that I was looking at. Oh yeah. I think that's him. Oh no. <laughs> There we go, on my side. Whew. Nice brownie. No, you don't. Try and get back over there. Oh yeah, that is that nice brownie. Oh boy. No, you don't. Ugh. Yep, that's the nice one I was looking at. He's got a little dinked up fin on. His tail fin's a little buggered up, but. Oh, he took that deep. Wow, that's a pretty fish. Wow, putting up a good fight. There you go. Oops. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Oh uh, yeah. That is a chunky trap. Chunky, thick trout. Nice. Oh yeah. Nice Tully Brownie. Oh, right away. Thank you, Brownie. And now you, Mr. Heron. Get the fuck out of here, you bastard. Oi, fuck off, bugger. Oh, there are so many of those around here. Looks like we got some competition, boys. Tell. No, it's getting a little bit warm now. 
Rock bass are hitting pretty aggressively. There you go. Bye bye, Rocky Barbosa. I gotta eat that worm. <laughs> Like it seems like it'd be shallow enough to swing wets, but don't want it. All right, back up top. There's at least a little moving water, faster water up here. So that's three out of here, huh? Or is that another one? Yeah, that's four. <laughs> I was about to say, I think it's about shot in here. No, nope, one more. Yeah, not a huge one, but hey, I'm having fun. Are you the same little bugger? You almost look very similar. You look very similar. Thank you, little trout. Goodbye. And I did hear a rise in front of me. So let's see if we can get right back out there and catch another one. There he goes. Man, where'd that guy go already? He already fished down. Jeez. There's no way he caught any fish moving that fast. Jeez. As I say all the time, good fly fisherman should be a fantastic worm fisherman. It's like everybody's starting off Euro nymphing, and it's very similar to this. It doesn't give you the positive reinforcement that, yeah, it's a fish versus a rock. That's a fish. That was a fish. <laughs> this is a lot deeper than it seems like it is right there. That's a fish. Ooh, that's a big fish. Oh. <laughs> oh. Another nice brownie. Another nice brownie. Oh boy. <laughs> Flipping and flopping. Another nice brownie. Oh boy. Go that way. You want to go that way? Fine, we'll go right. And he spent. Another nice brownie. Man. There's my knee for comparison. Another nice one. All right, he's all tangled up, so I gotta unhook him. Another nice brownie. Cool. Good eye fish. <laughs> Thank you, brownie. Ugh. That's five out of this run. Ugh. I love curry fishing, man. It's so effective. That's seven. Not, not as big one, but first rainbow today. All have been brownies up here. A little tiny rainbow. Wow. Little dude. Come on. There you go. Little trout. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> Took that no problem. Another nice fish. Jeez. Oh, he ran real quick. That's eight. Another nice one, too. Chunky, chunky brownie again. Wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> See him swimming around down there. Jeez. Come on, you. Let's see if I can turn him a bit. There we go. Good fighter, this one. Oh, he wrapped himself up, didn't you? There we go, got his head above water. Nice brownie, holy moly. Well, take me into the sticks. Swing him around, because he wants to go over there now. Another nice brownie. Ay, ay, ay. That is a football of a brown trout. <laughs> Jeez, oh man. This is the perfect rod for these fish. That's a good 18 inch fish. That's three trout that are close to 18 now. Absolutely mogging your nymphers. Supposed to be a barbell stuck. Hell yeah. Uh, that's a big brownie. <laughs> See if I can uh, pick him up without getting. Oh boy. That is a chunky, chunky brownie. Heck yeah. Big old brownie. Oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Okay, there you go, there you go, there you go. Thank you, Brownie. That's a big Brownie. That's three fish close to 18. I think he was pretty much 18. All right, so that's three fish getting very close to 18. Come on, come on, take it, take it. I see him hit. There we go. <laughs> oh, is that a rainbow? The way it's fighting feels like a rainbow. That's nine. Ay, ay. Wow. <laughs> what a beautiful looking rainbow too. Nice white tip fins. Cool. I am absolutely destroying in here. Shame nobody's else around. I wanted to show up all the Euro nymphers. Good 14 inch fish. There you go. About 12. It might be a 13 inch fish. 12 or 13. There you go, rainbow. Second rainbow of the day. And another fish just froze there. Ay ay. There's rock bass. Flying rock bass. Oh. <laughs> Pop. Gone. Alright, you. Coming after you. That was a hit. Oh man, that's a good fish. Holy moly. <laughs> that's another good fish. Jeez. Oh. Try to turn him to me. There we go. 
trees above me. I gotta look out for. Man, oh man. That's four fish that are decent. Got trees above me. Man, oh man. <laughs> That's 10 now. Hey, aye, aye. He ran. <laughs> oh, he ran. Jeez. <laughs> Got trees above me, so I want to get him in quick. Man, oh man. <laughs> Jeez, oh man. That is four fish reaching 18. Holy moly. What is going on today? Man, oh man, look at the fin on that. Look at the... Oh. Jeez, oh man. Absolutely mogging in here today. Euronymphers get mogged. I gotta unhook him properly. Get my hemostats, I got it all tangled up, so see you in a bit. Alright, it's unhooked. Kinda hard to get a proper measurement here. Eh, he might be only what? 15, 16? Still, thick fish. Man oh man. <laughs> nice fish. Go back in, your bugger. Thank you, Trail. Jeez, oh man. <laughs> See if there's one right in there again with him. They are starting to rise, though. It's another one. <laughs> oh. No, nope, he's off. That would have been 11. Oh. Darn. Man, I still have all that water down there to fish yet. Why, yay. Might be at a battery by the time I get down there. Yep. That's a big one. Oh boy. <laughs> that is a nice one. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to chase this one. Oh, I got him stuck up underneath. Smart fish. Smart fish. Got right up underneath that rock. Probably broke me off. Yep. Hey, hey. look at that. Oh well. Oh. That was a fish. Yep, that was a fish. Damn. What's with all of them not hooking? Oh yeah. Well, get hooked. <laughs> Jeez, little fish. Little brownie. I don't know why it was took them so long to get hooked. Don't feel like losing hooks behind me into the trees. A little one. 
Maybe that's why, because he wasn't didn't actually have it in his mouth. He kind of just attacked it. There you go, little dude. It was like pushing it up against the bottom it looked. Let's see if I can flip it up underneath that stick over there. I gotta go on the other side. Kind of. I don't quite have the weight I want. Because of how shallow it is. That certainly felt like a fish. That was a fish. Dang. They're gonna do this peck at it and not actually take it in their mouth. was a take. Oh. Brownie again. Oh no, it's a rainbow. Belly looked yellow on him. Rainbow. There we go. Thank you, Rainbow. Be gone. That was a hit. Wow. <laughs> Another nice brownie. Man, oh man. Oh yeah. What is that, 13 now? I rolled a little one upstream. I started losing count somewhere around 10. <laughs> Guess I should get a fish clicker. Another good sized brownie. Seven percent, no. Oh, there we go. Man, oh man, still have fight left in you, huh? Gotta follow you upstream. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Jeez, oh man. Not much bigger than the other one. He's pretty big. 
That's why you fought well. A good four pound, five pound trout. Jeez. That is a nice trout. Four percent battery left to spare. Nice fish. That is an 18 inch trout. Another chonky brandy. Jeez, oh man. <laughs> Super thick. Wow. Cool. Oops. Get him back in. Oh. Yeah, he got back out. <laughs> All right, so yeah. 13 fish in about two and a half hours. That ain't bad. That's the way it's done, Mike. I have 3% left. I don't think I'm going to be able to fight another fish. With what battery power I have left. Ugh. Well, if I don't get another fish between here and there, it's because my battery died. Oh, that was a fun day. Jeez, oh man. What was that, five fish close to 18? <laughs> Dang, I love that, man. It, there's something about the curry rod that just makes it so much more cool than having an 11-foot rod with a reel. It's, oh, I love it. There, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna go home and uh, yeah, see you next video.